Hey reader friends, if you've chosen this book, the title is If You Can't Bear Hug, Air Hug, a book inspired by social distancing by Katie Sedmack. Miss Sedmack wrote this book in 2020 and the publisher is Pink Pangolin. It's dedicated to her family. If you can't bear hug, air hug, smiling snouts, fuzzy bellies out. We stretch our arms out wide. If you can't slap fins, flash grins. Eyes twinkling, cheeks dimpling, we show off our enormous teeth. I guess as long as we don't have a mask on, right? If you can't bump knuckles, trade chuckles. Quiet giggling, seashells wiggling. We share jokes late at night. Hmm, you could do that. You could send someone a funny joke, maybe through email or by a text. If you can't tickle feathers, sing together. Talons tapping, wings flapping. We hoo, hoo, hoo in rhythm. Have any of you had Zoom meetings or Skype meetings with family members? Maybe you could sing them one of the songs your music teacher has taught you. If you can't split a fish, share a wish. Fluffy heads on floating beds, we spot a shooting star. If you can't share snores, share roars. Chests puffed, manes fluffed, we see who growls the loudest. If you can't touch noses, give roses. Trunks twisting, tails swishing. We pick a perfect bloom. Won't be long before flowers be growing and you could make a bouquet for someone. Maybe leave it on their porch with a sweet note. If you can't rub whiskers, be good listeners. Heads perked, ears alert. We have a heart to heart. If you can't give pecks, rain check. Chirping our songs, we say so long and wave our wings till then. It's still fun to see people you love, even if you have to be a little bit apart. Do you know what they're talking about by a peck? A peck is a kiss on the cheek or a kiss on the forehead. If you can't share bamboo, share a view. Sleepy eyes on colorful skies, we watch the sun go down. The end. What a sweet book. There's lots of ways to keep close with the people we love, even if we can't do it the normal ways we remember. 